Hello again everyone, Happy New Year. I uh, just wanted to come back to the carrier control point again. Um, last time I showed you it working with my Royal Observer Core monitoring post, WB1401 equipment. Today I'm going to show it working with the plastic speakers. This is the WB1400 and these were what you would have found in the sort of if you were a home warning location so if you had a siren in your home uh, and they were pretty the, the private subscribers that you could apply to the uh, to the United Kingdom warning and monitoring organization through BT and uh, you could have one of these in your home and it was your job then to warn uh, you know people in your town or village so you would have had these in banks, building societies, uh, police stations would have had these that didn't have one of these. Uh, and you would have like the dentists, the doctors, hospitals, factories, things like that would have had them. And uh, they were on the same network as the Royal Observer Corps ones. But uh, you could actually set these off uh, differently. So if you wanted to do a test that was just Royal Observer Corps, um, that's what I showed you the last time. You could change this from all to select and then it would only set off the Royal Observer Corps speakers. And then on all, it would set off these speakers and the Royal Observer Corps speakers. So what I've done today is um, I have put it on a switch now so I can switch between the two. And I've got this one hooked up at the moment and I've put another box up here. So this is a speech receiver and that is controlling this box. and. That is the connection from the speech receiver to the carrier control point. So that's the wire going into the back of the carrier control point. And then I have a 12 volt PSU powering that. And then I have this, which is the connection between the speech receiver and the speaker. So there's the connection to the speaker there and that runs along the back to the speaker. And there's the connection running up to the speech receiver. So that is technically how I would have been wired. And uh, you can see I'm connected to the X path. And that's why it's going higher. If I had connected to, to the Y path, the uh, the signal would be down low and it would be bouncing higher on the Y path. So what I can do is I can connect one to the X path and one to the Y path if I want to. And that means that then both of these will work independently. But as you can see, That is taking its signal then directly from the car control point. And then I can do the attack warning. And then I can pick up the phones if I wanted to now and uh, give the message. So that is all going and it's, it's quite, I'm quite lucky over the years I've collected uh, lots of these speech receiver so that's a, a brand new one I had in a box uh, is the one that's up on the wall there now and uh, that's a brand new one now these are supposed to use uh, the WB1400 and as you'll see this is a WB1401 and the WB1401 is what it's supposed to be with the metal speakers the ruggedized speakers and the WB1400 is supposed to be the one with the plastic speaker so I have my WB1400 down there and uh, I had found that the because the CCP is so close and there's only a certain amount of cable, the, the signal it was sending was so high, it was so loud, that it was constantly waking up the speech receiver and uh, it was on all the time. But I wanted it the way it used to be, so that's why I'm using a WB1401 instead of a WB1400. Uh, and the only difference is that is that it sends slightly longer tones for the WB1400 so when you put it to select um, it actually sends longer tones and those longer tones then wake up the WB1400 which uh, is down there so and I apologize to anybody who's motion sickness I'm flashing the camera around here like crazy but yeah that's now working how it should so I have that going I have the CCP usually up here so what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll do a bit of tidying up and uh, you can see there inside I have a battery and that's what 
that's what runs this. So I'll, uh, I'll tidy up some of this wiring and then I'll come back and just show you where I have everything sitting. So back in a second. And there we go, all back together and uh, doing as it should. So I've got the cover back on and uh, you can just see the uh, 12 volt supply going in the back there. But yeah, absolutely perfect. Um, all doing what it should and a uh, great bit of kit to have. And uh, fantastic to have it all working. And you can hear now, it's just sending out slightly lower tone and then after a couple of seconds, that will go quiet again and that will go back to sleep. And uh, it's doing exactly what it would have done back in the uh, 80s and 90s which is absolutely fantastic so glad there he is back to sleep absolutely fantastic so what i can do now is i have a a power supply for this it's a 240 volt power supply uh, and it was four locations that had a speaker and a uh, a siren one of the large uh three-phase sirens so there wasn't enough power to power both the speaker and the siren. So they put in a, there was a power supply and it looked exactly like this uh, grey box and it was actually based off this speaker. Um, it looks almost identical to that except it doesn't have the two black buttons and the uh, speaker grill is removed and it has one of these plates here and it just says uh, power unit on it. And that would have been used to send the uh, 36 volts to uh, charge the battery so what I can do is I can mount that up beside it and uh, run it down to a plug and it'll charge the battery as well so I've just got to work out whether I need to do anything because obviously I don't want any residual voltage to run into this just to be on the safe side so once I find out that that is okay to do I, uh, I will wire that up as well and that means that while I'm running this and running that I'll be able to charge the battery inside that as well and the little red led inside will come on while i'm doing that but yeah just wanted to show you this um a bit of a further update and i have i have all the wiring and everything bought all the cable clips all the boxes everything to do the install at the bunker so once the weather it uh, gets a wee bit warmer a wee bit drier i will uh, i will go and do that but listen as always thank you very very much for watching and i'll see you all again next time bye bye